Okay, here we go, Keeper. World famous YouTube Googler of maths lessons. YouTuber. Right. So we're starting a new topic, 3.6, differentiation. It's a big topic. It's worth six credits. Um, lots to learn, lots of rules, and then after the rules, we learn how to apply them. So first of all, I want to have a look at what you did last year. So in year 12. There's this formula they give you, and you get it this year as well, and it goes y equals ax to the power n, and when we differentiate that, we get dy by dx equals n a x n minus 1. All right, so that's given to you. It's a formula, and it's on your formula sheet in some sort of way. So what does this mean? What I want you to do is I want you to learn a phrase. And that phrase goes, and you should say it every time you do one of these type of problems. Take the power. Multiply by it. Decrease the power by one. I've said it all the time since I've started teaching. That is what I use, and I say it in my head every time I get a problem. So let's have a look. Nice straightforward one. If you've got y equals 6x squared. We take the power, 2. We multiply by it, so 2 times 6. We decrease the power by 1. So we get dy by dx equals Twelve x. Okay, take the power, multiply, 2 times 6 is 12, decrease to 1, power of 1 we don't write, so we get 12x. Now, this notation here is called the Leibniz notation. You can write it that way, but there's also lots of other ways, and so last year you probably learned to write it something like this. All right y dash equals, each term separately, this one first, take the power, 3, multiply by it, 24, decrease by 1, 24x squared, take the power, it's 1, remember, multiply by it is 4, decrease the power by 1, x to the power of 0, x to the power of 0 equals 1, so we actually don't write it, it's just plus 4. Okay, so there shouldn't be any problems doing those sort of ones. Remember, if it is a constant, a constant doesn't have an x. We're differentiating the y with respect to any x's in it. So if it doesn't have an x, it isn't being differentiated, it vanishes. So the differential of this would be nothing, gone. All right, and the other one? If we have something that is multiple in brackets, we should multiply it out first. We don't differentiate, so x squared minus 4x minus 21. Then we differentiate. y dash equals 2x minus 4. All right, so that's what we learned last year. That's what I'm going to set you to do today. Should be no problems. Okay. Good one, guys. See you later.